Ryosuke, on these go bear are pretty. I picked them out with mom. Yeah, they look good, Dad. My name is Ryosuke. I'm a college student. My parents love plants and have been doing research just for fun. I've been influenced by them to like plants. I'm going to send this to mom for her birthday. She loves these flowers. Did you choose one? Oh crap, not yet. We live with my grandmother and she's going to be having her birthday soon. We always send her flowers on her birthday. I'll go look for something real soon. Take your time. Don't copy me though and buy the same flowers. Why would I do that? The flower shop that was nearby went under. I wonder if there are other shops. Hmm? I know there was a flower shop here. Perfect. Welcome. She's really pretty. Older, probably. Did you have flowers you were interested in? Hmm, I'm thinking about, uh, poinsettia? Oh, you got those. It's my grandma's birthday, and I wanted to buy them for her. I know poinsettia are known for celebrations, right? Huh, you know a thing or two about flowers. <laughs> nah, my parents just raised me to love them. I see. But it's fun to be talking about stuff like the. Ow! Did she just trip on nothing? Are you okay? Yeah, <laughs> sorry. I'm a little clumsy. I see. Miss Karen, huh? Pretty name. I bought the poinsettias and gave the bouquet to my grandma a few days later. Thank you so much. They're lovely. My grandmother loved them. And I was a little curious about Miss Karen, so I started going to the store more frequently. Oh, hey, Mr. Ryosuke. You came by again, huh? Yeah, I did. Why is there a girl that won't stop looking? What the hell are you doing? Um, this is... Oh, sorry. She's my childhood friend, Miku. She comes by often. You came yesterday too, right? You some kind of stalker? What? Hey, Miku! You can't say that to my customer! Come on! Why is a man coming to a flower shop this frequently? Something smells fishy. I enjoy flowers as a man too. Yeah, Miku! But you said you have a stalker problem, Karen. Huh? A stalker? Miku, let's not talk about that. You should just tell him. Karen is being followed around at night. I feel like some quiet, boring guy like you might do something like that. So I'm being cautious. Yeah, you're being rude. I'm just buying flowers at a flower store. Yeah, Miku, don't be so rude. Karen, are you sure about this? You're not able to run this store because you're so stressed out. Huh? You run this store? Her parents ran it at first, but her mom passed away and her father became sick shortly after. That's why she's working hard to keep it alive and running. Miku? Oh, welcome! Sorry, I gotta go deal with the customer. Oh, yeah, of course. You understand? Her parents are both gone and her store is in peril, but she's doing her best to keep it running. If you are the stalker, you need to stop. I, I said I'm not a stalker! When I glanced over at the cash registers, I saw what looked like a family photo. Mm, that must be her parents. They're always keeping an eye out for her. She's a little clumsy, but a good girl like that shouldn't be stalked. I'm gonna... I'm gonna come here more often. What? I said stop stalking! I'm not a stalker! And she's going out of business and I need to buy more flowers! Is that not good enough? I mean, if that's what you want to do... After I started going to buy flowers more often, Miku started trusting me little by little. Before I knew it, the flower shop became one of my favorite places to be. Oh, I'm so tired of my job. It's late now. They really shouldn't make part-time workers work overtime. Wait, is that Karen? Hmm. She's kind of wobbling around. Is she drunk? That's not good. Hey, Karen! I was gonna say something, but I noticed something weird. Two people behind her. They're hiding? They're both looking at her from different angles, but she hasn't noticed. Are they the stalkers? There's no way I could do anything against two people. I ran up to her and told her to run. Miss Karen, you can't be out this late all alone. Huh? 
Oh, uh, Yusuke. Wait, who are those people behind you? Oh, crap. Get away from her. Wah! I grabbed the man that said something to me and threw him. Who knew that my judo would come in handy? The man was thrown into the cement. Duh! Are you okay, Dad? Dad, what? I saw the man that was lying on the ground. It was definitely the dad I saw in the photo. The other person, donning all black, came running at me as well. Is this the real stalker? This one's a bit smaller, but I can't let my guard down. What's going on? Huh? Miku? What? I was at a loss for words. Why were Karen's father and Miku stalking Karen? Wait, hang on, you said her father died. What? No, I said he got sick shortly after. No, that's totally... Yeah, he was sick, so he went to a bigger hospital far away. What did you think? Oh, I'm at fault here, huh? Th then why are you guys stalking her? What are you talking about? You're the stalker, you freak! What? You're after Karen who's walking around all alone this late at night, right? Terrible! No, no. N no! I saw two people wearing old black following her around, so I wanted to help her is all. Oh, Black? Who? You two! Oh. Why are you following her around? I mean, I heard that she goes out drinking often, so... She's beautiful, just like her mother, so I was worried that some random man might be interested in her, and I wanted to get home safely. I have to go to a bunch of businesses that are opening up and want flowers ordered. They like to buy me alcohol as a thank you. You worry too much. Huh? So why were you stalking her? I just didn't want her to be followed. Wait, so what about the whole almost out of business thing? You said that to him, Miko? Wait, what? That's not true? No, I'm almost too busy. Business is booming. B but you're always wearing the same clothes and you always eat things that look cheap. You look like you lost some weight too, so I was worried that you were struggling for money. No, I just don't have time to go buy food and cook it myself. I'm actually struggling to keep up with business, so I really want my dad to hurry up and come back. Huh? Really? Uh, oh, that makes sense. But, but Karen really does have a stalker. Yeah, that's a real problem. Yeah, um, no, I think you two are the stalkers that she's complaining about. Oh, I understand, but there may be someone else. I'm not going to be able to leave the hospital for a little longer, so I need to follow her around a little more. Maybe you don't get better sooner because you're sneaking around at night. Oh, then just have Ryosuke work part-time, huh? Me? He's a boy, so I can ask him for help around the store with heavy things and he'll probably ward off any stalkers. True. I was impressed by how well he threw me to the ground. I mean, it seems like you don't have enough people, so maybe it's perfect. We were looking out for you so you didn't have anyone stalking you, but you be careful. I don't want the people who are stalking her to tell me what to do. Alright, you guys, everything is sorted. It's fine. Good. Keep her safe, son. You're moving a little quick there, sir. Sir? Huh, you respect her father, huh? No, I meant yes, but... Ah! And that's how the stalker problem solved itself. I started working at her flower shop. I was so happy to spend a lot of time with her, but... Sorry! No, it's okay. I'm not sure if we're getting closer or not. <laughs> what? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Huh? What is this? Oh, I just got some tickets to the Botanical Park, and I figured I could go with someone. I see. Lucky, you go have fun then, okay? No, I actually, uh, wanted to go with you. Huh? Huh? She's pretty slow when it came to things like this, so I needed to do what I could to close the distance. <laughs> Let's just start with the Botany Park. What did you think of today's episode? Please come back tomorrow for more. Thanks for watching. Bye.